Today's video is sponsored by DraftKings. Having trouble scoring in Madden 23? Yeah. No! Whether you're constantly getting sacked, oh my God. having trouble beating man coverage, or just want a more explosive offense, In today's video, I'll be showing you the glitchiest routes in Madden 23 that score instant touchdowns against multiple different defenses. And the best part is that they can all be found in one playbook from my New Orleans Saints offensive ebook as I recently started updating it with a bunch of new explosive passing plays. Man Cover 1 and Man 0 are the meta defenses that everyone is using the most in Madden 23, so with that in mind, most of the routes that I will focus on today will be routes that beat these coverages, but I will also have some routes for multiple zone coverages as well, so stick around for that. But before I do, as always, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, or let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the channel. And if you want to see more glitch routes and money plays like this, you don't want to wait all you have to do is check out this or any of my ebooks to do that all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment you can have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download this is not the first video that i have made like this as this has been a part of a monthly video series that i've been doing since the start of madden 23 and it has been very popular so if you guys want to see more glitch routes like this I've put out several videos from multiple other playbooks and I will have links in the description as well as an on-screen pop-up at the end of the video so stick around for that. The first play is in the I-form close flex formation and this play can only be found in New Orleans Saints offense. The play itself is the PA tight end corner. This is a man beating route so on defense I will start off with cover one man. This has two different ways to beat man defense. The first way is with this unique route that almost looks like a reverse corner route and anyone who plays Madden 23 online knows how good corner routes are this year. The only adjustment that I'm going to make whether I'm facing man cover one or man zero is to put the X route receiver next to it on a streak or a fade to pull the safety back and you'll see just how glitchy this route is against man defense as the cornerback in coverage will always bite to the outside making this a very easy wide open throw against either man coverage with a streak pulling back to safety. Because these receivers start to play so closely together though the streak can also be an explosive route as the other route will often clear the way preventing the defensive back covering the streak from properly doing his job and letting this route get pass for a score also if you are running this against cover one man it is probably best to put the tight end on a streak to pull the safety back just make sure to pass lead away from the center of the field this route concept works even better against man zero though as there is no safety over the top and both routes will get open the exact same way the only thing you might have to do is change your blocking structure as blocking the running back will result in the free safety playing deep coverage which you don't want so i find it's best to put the running back on a check and release as it will hold the safety and it's also best to put the fullback on a pass block as well. Before I get into the rest of the plays, I first want to tell you guys about an exciting deal available from today's video sponsor, DraftKings. I was really excited when DraftKings reached out to me to promote their product as I use their app every week to play daily fantasy football. If you watch my channel, you might know by now that I am a Philadelphia fan. And other than watching my team win the big game, the second most exciting game of my life was watching a boring defensive struggle between New Orleans and Carolina a few years ago. Why? Because I had a first place ticket that was winning me thousands of dollars for just a $10 entry. And it suddenly felt like I was winning the Super Bowl. It's a feeling that's hard to describe, but DraftKings has so many ways to make watching sports more fun. Download the DraftKings Sports app now. New customers use promo code MONEYSHOT, bet $5 on any NFL playoff game, and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code MONEYSHOT only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Yep, that's right. New customers bet just $5 on any NFL playoff game of your choosing, and you'll instantly get $200 in bonus bets deposited into your account. Wondering what you can do with $200 in bonus bets? Try out same game parlays where you can combine multiple bets from one game, like which team will win and by how much for a shot at even bigger winnings. If mobile sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry as you can still get it on the phone with DraftKings Daily Fantasy. Next up, I have a route that I showed earlier in the year in some gameplays that beats multiple coverages from one of my favorite offenses, and that is the Gun Empty Y Saint. The route itself can be found in two different plays, the Saints drag and the Saints corner, but the Saints corner has slightly better blocking due to the check and release that the tight end is on. 
making it a much better option for Man Zero. These plays can also be found in the Texans playbook as they are the only other playbook in Madden with this rare formation. I'll once again start off against Man Cover 1 on defense and you will notice that you really don't need any adjustments at all for this to work, but I like to motion the running back in and put him on a streak to once again pull back the safety. The route itself though just runs right past the cornerback and that is because for some reason in Madden's coding anytime the receiver runs into the defensive back in coverage he either gets a speed boost like he's playing Mario Kart or what is more likely the defensive back loses acceleration and the receiver doesn't. And on this route he runs right into the cornerback every single time whether in man cover one or man zero. At that point all you really have to do is lob it up and pass lead away from the safety and you have another very big play. Now if you're facing cover zero blitz you have two options to get more pass protection. One is to make sure you choose the Saints corner as the tight end will be blocking on a check and release to buy you some more time. The other is the motion snap one of the receivers on the other side of the field hiking the ball while behind the tackles which will turn him into a blocker or you can do both and they will both buy you the few seconds that you need to once again lob it up for a good throw and pass lead outside for an easy catch and run one play touchdown. The next play is something that will work against cover four match and cover three zone and this play can be found in another very common formation the single back deuce close. The play itself is the PA X post cross and I will once again have all the playbooks that this play is available in listed on screen. This play itself does nothing as it really has no glitch around the formation at all. The glitch route that I'm going to show you is a well-known glitch that can be found in your hot route adjustments and that is the delay fade as this is something that EA has tried to patch in title updates as recently as just last year. Against cover four match if you put both of these tight ends on both sides of the field on the same delay fade you'll notice that the deep safeties will forget to cover the crossing routes instead electing to cover the tight ends coming into their area and letting the post route run right past them for an easy one play touchdown. This is because in cover four quarters each secondary defender is responsible for a certain area of the field once a receiver passes 10 yards and they will not leave it. So as this post route comes across one section to the next it becomes secondary to the streaks once they pass 10 yards in that area and gets forgotten in coverage. You can see in the replay how the safety just stops and bails on him choosing to cover a much lower route instead and the strong safety doesn't react at all until the ball is already in the air. This also works against cover three as the same delay fade will hold the outside quarterback down the same way letting the post route get over the top once again. If we watch the replay you can see the same indecisiveness of the outside cornerback as he doesn't know which route is his priority to cover. The last play is probably the best play as it beats just about every single coverage defense in the game in different ways and that is the shock H option out of the gun tray open. This play once again is available in all the playbooks shown on screen. I'm going to once again start off with cover one before showing all the coverages that this play can beat. The route I'm going to focus on is going to be the wheel route, which doesn't beat anything by itself, but can beat multiple coverages with a few adjustments. The first thing you can do is put it on a simple smart route, which will stretch it out and give you enough separation for a big play, mostly due to the same bump boost I went over in the previous play, but you get much more separation in different ways. The best way is to make sure that you are on a hash mark to the open side of the field and motion across the tight end. As you will see, it also brings in the X receiver, making him much closer and opening up a lot of different options for this play. As far as how to get the wheel route open better, all you have to do is put the X route on either a curl or a slant and both will act to disrupt the cornerback in coverage of the fade route once again as either the curl route receiver or the cornerback covering him will completely get in the way of the defensive back allowing the receiver to get wide open once again. Against cover zero you have the option of blocking both the running back for more pass protection as well as using the same motion snap trick to turn the tight end into a blocker as well. This play can also have a lot of success against cover two man as the same motion can alter the cornerback's starting depth by making him back off just enough that the cornerback covering the same wheel route will badly miss the jam just about every single time meaning the receiver will get wide open instantly outside. The best adjustment to make is put the X route on a fade to pull back the safety and the wheel route will once again get open against cover two man or zone for a big catch and run outside. So that's that's the video. If you guys are enjoying the content please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section if you want me to do more videos like this as it really helps out the channel. Other than that I will have some other videos from this series popping up on screen right now so if you guys want to see more glitch routes just click the links on screen as I'm sure it'll help out your game and that's it. Thanks for watching man my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.